So these guys are now drinking out of this. Good learning. And none of the chicks were down and out this morning. My little plan worked. Uh, go back on yesterday's video to see what I changed. Um, and they all seem to be doing good today. So that's nice and clean. Uh, now I don't spray anything on it. I just wait for a nice sunny day, like today, and I let it just soak in the sun uh, for a good few hours. The longer the better. And the sun disinfects it. Okay, welcome back to the incubation station. The chicken eggs are ready to go in. These are a meat chicken egg we're doing. Uh, the first time we're ever doing it, these are uh, bar Pl Plymouth Rocks and one set of mixed uh, Bar Plymouth Rock and Blue Morant. So they're ready to go in. We just need to set up the incubator. This thing. Let's make sure this all fits nice. Now I'm not going to even be able to fit uh, all of these in three cradles. Oh, I might do. Some of these are bigger than others. These are very, very heavy compared to the Quow eggs. Right now, that's three and a bit done. Hopefully, it won't be much rolling around. Well, they look good. I just just swapped them around. That's pretty cool. Right now, the lid goes on. It's already up to 56%. That's crazy. Gonna actually have to let a bit of that humidity out. Are you excited for the chicken eggs? Yeah. She loves to be involved, which is fantastic. This is day zero, so tomorrow will be day one, and we've got 21 days. So Ash is off for work today, which is lovely. We got to go to a garden centre this morning. We also found a new place, but we didn't find it. We was referred to it by our friends, Kaz and Alex. And they do really cheap quail food. The same stuff I already use, but four pounds cheaper than what I've been buying it for. So I went and picked up a lot of quail food and a lot of sawdust, which I was running out of. Also, in the garden centre we went to, bought a few more packs of seeds. Top tip for all you guys, uh, buy seeds now think about you should be thinking about what you're going to be planting in your garden next year anyway start getting a little idea in your head maybe you've just got you just plant the same stuff every year but seeds are about oh, it's the end of summer seeds are 50% off 75% off they're cheaper and so I start picking my seeds up about now and we picked up three packs of seeds today been picking up seeds for the last few weeks and what I do is I put them in my seed box which lives in the fridge all year round, back of the fridge, it stops the seeds from germinating and it keeps them viable for at least another year, maybe two years. I can't remember who I watched, but I watched them on YouTube recently and they were picking yellow tomatoes. I've never grown yellow tomatoes before. You get up to 80 fruit per truss and it was incredible. I mean, I've not even got 80 tomatoes on one plant at the moment. So imagine 80 on one truss. So Gonna be trying these. We've never done corn before, and hopefully next year we've got an allotment so we can do corn. So I bought my first pack of corn. Our garden is definitely not big enough for corn. I love a squash, I love a squash, I love courgettes, I love pumpkins, and I really wanna try spaghetti squash. Never tried it before, and I wanna see what it's like over in the UK. I don't see a lot of UK 
uh, people using it. So this is all for next year, so it's just gonna go straight in the fridge for next year. So when I open this up in January, I have lots of work to do. As any kittens, they've got fleas, and uh, to, can't really do much with kittens and fleas. Not with, not at this age. Not at this age. They're too small to, for any conventional flea treatment. But we have found a shampoo that's okay for their age. So this is the first time they're getting wet. Oh, they hate it. They hate it. Right, you ready, Mr. Man? Yeah. 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 Oh, these oh, arms. <laughs> I know, oh, bless you. you. I'm sorry. You dilute the shampoo with some warm water, and it's just—it's actually quite cheap. It's just we needed to do something for them. I feel really bad now. Yeah, you don't want the with other cats and a dog no. as well. We can't let the flea issue get out of control. No, I'm sorry, darling. How's that? How are you feeling? You're gonna have to like give him a nice cuddle in a minute. That's it. <laughs> oh, dude. Look at your little paws. <laughs> oh, mate, let's get him dry. <laughs> <laughs> oh Vegas, you don't like this, do you? Oh, their paws are so, are so are the same. They got little black bits on their paws. Yeah. These tiny quail are going through so much food and water. Can't even get in there at the moment. They're all right against the door because they're waiting for water. That is dry. I filled that up two hours ago. My goodness. This is crazy. <laughs> There's one just in there. That is so crazy. I'm slowly getting the hang of how much they need. So I'm definitely gonna have to look up a bigger waterer. I've got to grind up some food for them right now because they've gone through so much. I had to pick up two bags today. So first time I've had to double bag. Gonna put their old one in there as well, just because they're crazy. 